Hey yo friends, welcome in. We are over in the beautiful Butcher Block Mountains, and today we're going to murder some Dwarven citizens. So this is a pretty easy camp. I think it's called the Coastal Dwarf Camp. Um, I think that's the official name. But yeah, these dwarves, two locations you're going to pull from. Number 16, there's three dwarves there. Number 17, you've got one dwarf there. Um... The dwarf at number 17 is about one level higher. So keep that in mind, she will require a little bit of extra firepower to kill. But yeah, with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and start pulling. So first thing we wanna do, and this is just my preferred method of doing this. Um, you of course can do it differently, but I like to pull with a low level nuke. And we wanna line her up with that house. You will see we now have a lovely pack of pissed off dwarven women chasing us. Beards and all. So we're going to run around this aqua goblin camp. And you can see kind of up ahead there's a wall and some ruins. And that's where we're going to kind of target our uh, hiding area. So there are some guards standing here. Do not worry, the guards do not give a rat's ass about the citizens. So we do have one more lady to go pick up. However, this is where I tend to start snaring. And I use a low level nuke just so I don't have to wait forever for them to get to me. So in a second here we'll have some to snare probably. There they are. Note that they did kind of run. Oh my god, what is my cat done? <laughs> Very nice. My cat just knocked the cat cam down. Very, very nice. Like, I swear, I can't have anything nice. It's cats. The important thing is I've got them all snared. We're going to do the same kind of thing here. We're going to pull them through the house. And I think that will incite Cygnus Moran to join the fight. And it has. So all we need to do now is snare her up and start making a circle. Oh my god, cats, really? Y'all are gonna straight get me murdered. I'm trying to, like, record. Y'all are killing me here. Look at this. He's, like, legit licking this camera. Oh my. Alright, so we're gonna start circling up our dwarves. I'm trying to be professional about this, but it's really difficult. These cats are driving me crazy with this stuff. Alrighty. Thankfully, I had pants on. Yeah, we're going to use this little tree here to kind of circle them up real good. And a couple more circles and we'll be ready to start murder. Strafe around there. So, let's talk about loot. I have noticed the Dock Dwarves drop better loot, realistically. And, uh, yeah, it's very, um... Kind of torn because I felt like the Dock Dwarves was a little bit more difficult to, you know, gather the precise dwarves you need. There are some dwarves that give other faction hits as well. So, not really ideal, per se. Um, but, you know, here we are. Let's see. I'm just like in awe at my cats and their stupidity right now. So I like to keep Cygnus Baran targeted also because she does have more hit points. That little jackass right there will totally attack you as well. He will assist them. He is like level 5. So, you know, not the end of the world. It's, um, it's, uh, let's you look at some beautiful wires. Ah, uh, cats. And yeah, the cool thing about this is you can kind of kite them all over around this tower. And these dwarves don't care. Ideally, the closer you finish them to the tower, the less of a run you have to the sweet vendor in the tower that totally loves buying axes off dwarven ladies. In fact, I think that's the only reason he set up shop here, let's be fair. 
Oh, cats. Yeah, so note to self, I need to, like, officially affix my cat cam. Though I will admit that is the first time they've ever, like, you know, actively attacked it. <laughs> and yes, we're now pretty close to having these ladies dead. And we're going to start kind of pulling them right over here in front of these guards. And this is mostly just to kind of give us um, less of a run once we're encumbered with their sweet loot. So loot-wise, I have not seen ring mail drop off these ladies. When I killed at the docks, I got about three pieces of ring mail. So I'm going to say platinum-wise, docks is probably a little bit better of a camp. But... What I found here is the second I got back to 100% mana, they were ready to go. At the docks, I had a little bit of a downtime period before they were ready. And that should be three. With uh, Sphinx Brand at 8%, we're going to blow her up with a Fire Strike, which will expend every last bit of my mana. So normally I do a little bit better job of sitting, but I was kind of like uh, distracted by my damn cats being uh, terrible. Okay, I did get some ring mail here as well. Okay. Yeah. So actually not a bad little camp. Very simple, very easy. Don't mind my pile of wires there, folks. So yeah, we can come over here now. Yeah, we can just sell all this stuff. So get about four platinum for the two-handed axes. I don't know if uh, dwarf meat is used for anything, so I might hang on to it for a minute and then a couple of plat for these small ringmail boots. So this is definitely not a bad little camp to check out um, if you're quad kiting. And just for reference, my mana pool, um, I have about 1700 mana, I've got just enough. I would feel better having about 10 more wisdom. Oh look, they care about a scarab, but not their citizens. Hmm. Who knew? But uh, yeah, once you finish up here, you can run back, and it's a very safe spot to med. I haven't had anything attack me yet over there, so you know it's a pretty, pretty safe, easy little camp. Honestly, advantages being you're right by the druid ring. Um, you know, I also I did attempt to do the bloodgill camp, but uh, it was actually camped at four o'clock in the morning, much to my surprise. So, uh, you know, just. It is a very popular spot, and I do plan on reviewing a couple of other spots as well. So, we'll be going through those in the next couple of videos. But yeah, in a nutshell, this is the Dwarf Camp, the Coastal Dwarf Camp. Thank you all for watching, and as always, do all the youtube -y stuff. Like, subscribe, etc., etc. Would highly appreciate the support. And before we go, I just want to show the menace himself right down there. He may be the cause of my woes. Cat camp. Oh. Damn. Well, look at that guilty looking face. So guilty. So guilty. All right, folks. As always, enjoy the rest of your day and thanks for watching.